Hey, part two, um, we're going to go to the logarithmic side. Uh, the, the idea is exactly the same. What we want to do is, is go from logarithmic form to uh, exponential form by, by moving some stuff around. All right. So this top one says uh, 2 log base 5, 4x minus 1 equals 11. Um, we need to isolate log base 5, 4x so that we can then work in exponential form. Um, so we're going to add 1 to both sides, divide by 2. We end up with log base 5, 4x equals 6. We rewrite it as 5 to the 6th equals 4x, and then we solve, and that's really, really quite easy. The second one, not quite so easy. Um, you have to remember the power, uh, not the power property, but the product property. We're solving log base 2x minus 6 equals 5 minus log base 2, 2x. All right, well, this should be pretty easy, right? We have log base 2 here. Um, and we have a log base 2 on the other side. My problem is I want both my log base 2's on, on one side so that I can use the product or the quotient property to put them together, and then we have one log that we can change into exponential form. So here we go. That's what they did. They put these two on the same side. I know that addition uses the product property or the product property uses addition so i go backward right log base 2 2x times x minus 6 i combine those together now i'm in the proper form so that i can then say 2 to the fifth is equal to this 2x times x minus 6 you get yourself a quadratic now please god please 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 when you get yourself to this quadratic Please divide by, a, 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 factor out your two first. It'll make life easier. If you don't have a coefficient up here, it makes life so much easier when you factor. Okay? So that's good. Let's move on. Uh, da, 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 da. There it is. All right. Same base. This is a one-to-one. -one. All we're going to do is drop the log and say 3x equals 12, right? Because we could very well just multiply both sides by 10. 10 times the common log is 1, all right? But we didn't do that. We know that if it's a one-to-one -one equation, that all we have to do is solve that. So 3x equals 12, x equals 4. Very simple idea. All right? Let's talk about natural log. Here we are. That's the one on the bottom. This, the one on the bottom is supposed to be the difficult one, so let's go ahead and look at it. Here we go. Multiplication and multiplication. That's all we got here. So... We use the, the product property here. We have natural log x times x plus 16 equals natural log uh, 8 times uh, natural log 8 times x plus 6. All right, well, the bases are the same. We could, we could uh, get rid of those things because we can multiply both sides by e, and then everything would be great. Um, so, let's do this distribution. x squared plus 16x equals 8x plus 48. All right, let's do some work. x squared uh, plus 8x that's when I move the 8x over here, and then I subtract 48, minus 48. Uh, 48, let's say it's, it's got to be 12 and 4. Um, so x equals, let's say, uh, it's got to be negative uh, 12, because it's x uh, plus 12. 
and then x minus 4, 12 and positive 4. I know that when I put this in, I cannot have a negative 12 here. It doesn't exist. All right? But I can put a 4 in there, and everything's hunky-dory. So 12 is extraneous, 4 is not. And that's it. That's how you solve them. Uh, any questions, please send me any messages you need on the Google Classroom or see me in class. Just keep bugging me. That's all the work for you. I'm going to post it now.